Precious Achua was thrown into the Lowry trade, and based off how he looked in Summer League, Toronto may have a special center on their hands, and Chicago getting Alex Caruso got lost in the shuffle behind the blockbuster pickups of DeRozan and Lonzo. Here's why those pickups, along with several others, deserve more attention, and stay tuned until the end for my take on the most impactful pickup of them all. If you haven't already and enjoy my content, help the channel get to 50k by subscribing. Also, splash thumbs up for the beastly YouTube algorithm. Now let's get into this. Just a quick heads up before you comment who I should have talked about on this list, I've already ranked the top 10 underrated free agent signings this year, so these are the under the radar moves I didn't touch on in that video. Click the link in the description to go watch that vid. Kyle Lowry to Miami was voted the best move of the 2021 offseason, and I'm not denying how good that pickup was for the Miami Heat. However, the Raptors haven't gotten nearly enough credit for how much they got in return for Kyle. Toronto sent their fanbase into a frenzy when they refused to trade Lowry back at the trade deadline in March, when it was predictable that Lowry would walk in free agency. As it turned out, Masai Ujiri and Bobby Webster had a plan all along. The Raps front office knew whichever team Lowry chose to go to would have to free up cap space in order to fit him onto the roster. The Heat were forced to give up Goran Dragic, but they could have kept their 21-year-old center with a ton of upside who they took with pick number 20 in last year's draft. While Precious Achua's rookie season wasn't anything special, whether you're in win-now mode or not, having young, physically gifted players with upside never hurts to have in your back pocket. The chiseled, 6'9", 234-pound Nigerian with a 7'1 wingspan essentially defines physically gifted. But Precious averaging 5 points in 12 minutes per game in his first pro season gave Heat President Pat Riley the implication that Achua was expendable. After being a throw-in to the Lowry deal and shipped off by the organization that drafted him after merely one year, Precious came into Summer League with Toronto with much more lower body strength and finesse. Of course, Summer League competition doesn't compare to the NBA, but 17 points, 7 rebounds, and 1.3 blocks per game is a solid stat line anywhere. Achua's ability to catch passes in the pick and roll and then fluently transition into poster jams looked starting caliber center-esque in Vegas. About a month before that, Achua blocked Kevin Durant and helped beat Team USA in an exhibition game. So, Scotty Barnes has gotten all the eyes from the fans and media, but the Raptors' other young acquisition in Precious Achua looks extremely improved and could end up being just as valuable as Scotty. At times, Achua's look like the former beast up front for Toronto and Serge Ibaka, so Raptor fans should be excited about Achua's debut in the six. Stick around to see if this move is the most impactful under the radar pickup in 2021 at the end. During the LA Lakers 2020 championship run, the defense of Alex Caruso on backcourt players like Damian Lillard, James Harden, Jamal Murray, and Tyler Harrow made all the difference for LA. While Caruso's ISO defense displays his lateral quickness, his passing lane disruption shows off how committed and intelligent the GOAT really is. No bounce pass to the paint in the pick and roll was safe with Caruso's bubble ball hawking, he carried over that defense into the 2021 season. To give you an idea of how valuable Caruso's defense is, 538.com created a new analytic called Raptor, basketball's version of baseball's war. The analytic measures how many points a player is worth per 100 possessions. There's more details, but to sum it up, Raptor calculates points given up defensively and scored on the other end. Then that combines into an overall score. Caruso's Raptor is plus 3.9, which led all guards in the entire league last year. Staying with more traditional analytics, Caruso's 20-ish minutes per game didn't qualify him for the lead, which was Ben Simmons, but when Caruso was on the court, his 106.4 defensive rating was good enough for second best behind the Aussie in that area. Alex Caruso signed a four-year, $37 million deal with the Chicago Bulls this summer, the signing didn't make the headlines that the Lonzo Ball or DeMar DeRozan signings did, 
but given his defense, leadership, and championship experience, Bulls fans should be excited about it. When you break down Caruso's offensive production, he's slightly below league average. His most substantial offensive contribution is his ball control at the point of attack and his high passing IQ. Last year, Caruso was the primary ball handler for the Lakers when it wasn't LeBron or Schroeder. He had the third best assist to turnover ratio on the Lakers at 2.3. What wasn't below average was Alex's three-point shooting. He shot 40% from three overall and 43% on catch-and-shoot three-pointers. That spot-up three-point shooting should help him next to Lonzo, Damar, and Levine, who are all, specifically Lonzo, great passers. For the second time, the Bulls have the GOAT on their roster. Caruso was a damn undervalued pickup. I'm not going to go as in-depth on these next deals, but since I didn't talk about them in my top 10 underrated signings video, I thought I'd quickly give them some respect. The recently promoted GM Brad Stevens got a max level point guard for $5.9 million in Dennis Schroeder. While Schroeder turning down $84 million over four years to stay next to LeBron in LA was short-sighted, everyone focused on the mistake Dennis made and ignored how much of a bargain the Celtics got for his services. The elusive German floor general isn't the flashy third star next to Tatum and Brown that fans and media are looking to see the Celtics acquire, but he's still an above average point guard who scored 19 points per game off the bench for OKC in 2019-20. Over 70 games for Milwaukee last year, Bryn Forbes was right behind his fellow role player Bobby Portis, ranking fourth among NBA players in three-point percentage. The four years prior to this past season, Forbes was steadily developing his production in San Antonio. Now he returns to Coach Pop's system, signing a one-year deal worth a clean four and a half million. Like Bryn Forbes, the lockdown defending wing Tory Craig made an appearance in the NBA Finals in 2021. Now he's moving on to the Indiana Pacers for 10 mil over two years. Great pickup for the underrated Pacers. I'm making a separate video on why Indiana has a chance to be the most shocking team in 2022. Andre Iguodala returning to the Bay headlined my top 10 underrated signings ranking. This time, I'm going to talk about Otto Porter Jr. While most fans view Otto as an injury-prone, washed-up 28-year-old, the perfect opportunities come about for the former 3 and D killer with the Washington Wizards to resurrect his career. If he stays on the floor, I think Otto can be valuable in spurts for the Warriors. The four most impactful under-the-radar signings on this list are Precious Achua to Toronto, Alex Caruso to Chicago, Dennis Schroeder to Boston, and Torrey Craig to Indiana. The Raptors, Bulls, Celtics, and Pacers all get significant upgrades at those players' respective positions. While the 21-year-old Achua, who I'm going to make another separate video on, could eventually be looked back on as the best under-the-radar signing, in 2022, I think Caruso's leadership, defense, and playmaking for the Bulls will stand out as an acquisition that everyone slept on when it happened. As you may have seen in my DeRozan video yesterday, two ESPN analysts completely roasted the Bulls for going all-in on DeRozan, Vucevic, and Lonzo. But I didn't hear one word mentioned about Caruso. That's just my take. Let me know yours in the comments section. Click the box right here to watch my top 10 underrated players video. Have a great day, y'all. DFlow signing off.